Did you did when you did what? what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, Willis. Oh wow! Uh, uh, Merry Christmas that Eve. My my <laughs> Fox. Yeah, don't look in there though. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas Eve. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Tinky, Merry Christmas. It's Tink's first Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, Tinky's, Tinky's little snowman costume. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is exciting. One, two, three, go. Okay, just pick, just pick one. There's one on each side. There's something on each side. Can I have this bin? Oh, it's mom's bin. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I still. <laughs> we'll see. Never mind. Okay. Okay, they're still covered. So. Okay, so each of you gets to unwrap the one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Might be unwrapping yours. So oh. mine. I don't know. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Yeah. Oh my it's God. just the cases. Oh. Okay, yeah, yours is the purple and hers is mint. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh my God. Dad's like every day. Yeah. Dude, I thought when you gave me the printer, I thought it was airborne. Really? And I was like, I knew it. And then I was like, what, what is this? God. Oh my God, so I know. Cool. And purple I know, and it's like the cutest. Lavender. Yeah, they're the same brand of the case that I had, and they're like really nice Megan, cases. That, that, that uh, spongy. Yeah, spongies. like they're really cute, easy to I put on. I was not expecting that. Oh. Stylish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's so <laughs> good. Oh my god, these are amazing. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Finally! I know. <laughs> I know, I was so upset that I didn't get them for you before the hospital because then when you were like wanting AirPods, oh. I was like, fuck, I was like, I should have given her that to the printer. Oh, it's okay. When I'm out but. shopping, I used to always have the cords and everything. Right? Like, oh, and They're it's such a like pain in the ass. Stuff. Especially these with wearing masks, it's so much easier to just like pop yes. in like over, yes. you know, like you don't have to worry about oh cords. I don't have to use yours anymore. Yeah. Woo! I don't have to use yours anymore. Uh, yeah. Of course. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you. Of and course. the maze. Yeah, they're so cute. I mean, that is so cool, babe. Can't open it. Green dingy. I'm dying to see what this is. Me too. got him down. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're so cute. You play so much. Oh. <laughs> 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 Cuties. So cute. <laughs> I got Rachel one of those giant scrunchies. They are so cute. That's like the size of your head. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they tired of tiring each other out. It's like wrestling. It's like okay, he's in that corner. Like, what is the point? <laughs> There's no end game here. <laughs> They're both so tired. Take so tired. Take so tired. <laughs> morning. It is December 26th. And it's not morning. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know why I said that. But yesterday was Christmas and it was lovely. It was, you know, it was a small little Christmas. We just went to my parents' house. It's just so weird, you know, this year. Like, it just really didn't feel like Christmas. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like Christmas this year. Like, it hasn't really this whole month, you know, just because of everything we've been going through in this whole month of December. And I don't know, like, the fact that my great aunt just died, like, a week before Christmas. It's just like, it just doesn't feel like Christmas at all this year. But I still had a nice time with my parents and we watched the new Wonder Woman movie yesterday on HBO Max and just cause Rachel like loves Wonder Woman, it's like her favorite thing ever. And the movie was okay. Like, I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but Rachel liked it, so that's all that matters. And yeah, and then today I just had to go and do some grocery shopping just because we're like really low on everything. And so I just did some grocery shopping and now I'm getting some Starbucks. 
and it's just been a chill day. I've just been listening to Evermore all day. Oh my gosh, by the way, look at what I just got in the mail today from Noelle. Freaking the sweetest. She sent me her Christmas card with her adorable little pug. And she also wrote me the sweetest note on the back. Like, oh my gosh. I love her so much. Noelle is just the sweetest human. One night, Mike called me that his father had to go. We were at the warehouse. How's it going? It's New Year's Eve and I am working tonight. I'm closing, which kind of sucks, but we're only open till eight tonight. So it's actually not too bad. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to let you know that last night I started in early on my January TBR because I was too excited and I read 100 pages of this last night and then I read about 130 pages this morning so I'm 230 pages into this book and I'm absolutely loving it and I'm really glad that I started with this one because I feel like I've just been in a slump, you know, ever since the end of December I just haven't been reading a whole lot ever since everything that happened with my family so I feel like this was the perfect book to like jump back into reading and I'm really really enjoying it it's just it's really really cute it has like the fake fiance thing going for it which I just love and I don't know I'm really enjoying it so hopefully tonight isn't too crazy at work oh my gosh I'm just kind of nervous because I think we're kind of short-staffed for how busy it's probably gonna be tonight but then afterwards I'm just going to my parents house to celebrate the new year and hopefully 2021 will be much better for all of us <laughs> <laughs> it's almost New Year's! You look like shit. Ah! That went in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> 2021! It's happening! This year's gonna be better. This year's gonna be better. <laughs> 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 in my mouth. Open your mouth. I don't know why I did it. I don't know. You suck. I did. My contacts are so dry. Oh, Ending 2020, um, absolutely exhausting. <laughs> and just done. Mm. But you know, it's a new me. <laughs> I think I just did the finger. <laughs> oh my god, mom. Yeah, me too. Dad's like, you know. Dad Beanie's. <laughs> oh. Beanie's snuggling. Beanie. <laughs> She's like, all right, I shall come and grace the screen. Three more minutes of this misery. Absolutely, absolutely empty. empty. Oh, that sadness. look empty to me. Four, three, two, one. I could cry. I could honestly cry. I'm so glad it's, it's over. We're done. We're done. 2020. Bye. Don't know her. Happy oh, New Year, Pete. Happy New Year. Oh, happy New Year, <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> She's like, hey, no. What? I'm so sorry. Happy I'm so New sorry, Pete. Pete, you look so cute with it on, though. Hold on. Oh, Pete, look. Oh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her! Is this Phoenix's fourth New Year? Uh, fourth? No, she's, no, she's, she's three. three. <laughs> so impossible. It's her third. Like four years. Well, no, because she she was born in 2017, bitch. So <laughs> yeah, so this is her fourth. 2021 in October. In October. 18, 18, 20, in 2021. October she'll be. Yeah, we October 2021. <laughs> She'll be born. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you stupid fuck. No, she this wasn't is her alive. <laughs> her fourth New Year. No, she was born in October 2017, right? Her first New Year was 2018. Mm-hmm. 2019. Yeah. 2020. <laughs> 2021. Fourth. Well, it's her fourth New Year. She's turning wow. four in October, so this is her fourth New Year. I don't know. I can't do the math. Oh don't my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, for real though, is anybody else obsessed with watching cafe vlogs? <laughs> like, these are just so entertaining to watch. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so satisfying to just, like, watch people make drinks. And a lot of these are, like, in Korean. Like, most of the cafe vlogs that I watch are Korean. But if you literally just type in cafe vlog into YouTube, like, there are so many different kinds of cafe vlogs. <laughs> Hello. 
letters addressed to the fire come on can't remember these fucking lyrics writing letters addressed to the fire that's what the lyric says okay let's go <laughs> can't kill me <laughs> i replay my footsteps on each step after winter ween it's january 11th and <laughs> last night i stayed up until like two in the morning reading this book the wife upstairs tank get down get down get off the table tank but yeah anyways um i literally got 80 percent of the way through the book in one sitting i didn't start this book until like eight o'clock last night and so i was only expecting to read maybe like 100 pages and I read 220 pages. I have less than 100 pages left right here. Dang, oh, he's being so loud, sorry. But I've been taking like really good notes for the live show. I've been taking notes on like every single part of the book because I didn't realize there would be so many parts. And it's so funny because even though I have not read Jane Eyre, which I know this book is a retelling of Jane Eyre, but I recognized one of the most famous quotes from Jane Eyre and I just like squealed because it was so funny the way she like changed it and oh my god I just I'm loving this I love these like rich people murder vibes it's just very entertaining like it's not the best thriller that I've ever read but it is so entertaining and I don't even know if I like any of these characters I really kind of honestly find the main character Jane to be pretty annoying and her love interest Eddie to be pretty freaking cheesy and annoying and he's such a cliche but i don't know there's something about it i'm really enjoying it i want to finish it this morning because i'm just having the best time <sighs> maybe we shouldn't like <laughs> hello it's january 13th today and i just got this package in the mail that says it's amazon fulfillment and i have no idea what this is so i'm like is it a is it, did somebody give me something off my wish list like i don't know yeah oh oh my god it's the good samaritan by john mars holy shit i'm so glad i didn't end up reading that for winter ween because i was thinking about it oh hi gabby happy 26th birthday it's my birthday on january 13th what that's literally today oh my gosh freaking sweet it's from honey from tiara books 
what an angel. She literally got me a gift on her birthday. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate it and I can't wait to read this. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. The Night Stalker finally went on Netflix today. I've been highly anticipating this for like the last two weeks. And I'm stoked! <laughs> Okay, so we just watched the first two episodes of The Night Stalker, which is this new documentary series on Netflix. It's only four episodes long, but it's so interesting so far. If you enjoy true crime, you might know about The Night Stalker. He was this like serial killer in Los Angeles in 1985. And I actually think I heard about him before in a true crime podcast that I listened to, but I listen to so much true crime stuff that I don't remember specific things about certain cases and stuff so I don't know a whole lot going into this but it's so freaking interesting and so just bizarre and wild and anytime I watch something that's true crime like this it's just so hard for me to imagine that this was like real and this actually happened and like they're these people are real victims of these crimes and it's just so horrific. And I'm just so invested in it. I just really want to see where it goes. And I, I like that this series in particular is kind of following the detectives and the police who are like working on this case specifically. And kind of how they talk about how this case was like affecting their personal lives and just like how frustrating it was to deal with like all these different clues that they were getting and they they always felt like they were just so close but not nearly close enough to getting him i don't know it's just it's fascinating i'm really into it and i can't wait to watch the next two episodes tomorrow night and i also just wanted to show you i got this amazing package today from epic reads and it was for the book concrete rose this is by angie thomas and I was really excited to get this one because this one is like a prequel to The Hate You Give because in this book we're following the girl Star, it's her dad as a teenager and so we're following her dad Maverick when he was 17 years old and then when he found out he's going to be a father and I'm just so freaking excited to read this book. I love this red cover, it's just so stunning and the package they sent was really freaking cool, like one of the coolest packages I've ever received. They sent shoes with it, like straight up freaking shoes and then along with that they also sent these really cool shoe laces that i can restring and put these ones on and then they sent these cute little uh lace charms apparently like you can put charms on it and it's all of her books like tiny little book charms i guess and then they also sent these really two cool pins that i could put like on my purse or something but like oh my god epic reads doing the most holy shit i'm just ah, what <laughs> these are like good like they're so cute. Hello, it is January 16th and it is Saturday. I got this like crazy urge because my sister was talking about how she wanted to get a desk out in like the main room of the apartment and I was like, where are we gonna fit it? Like we don't have enough room for it. And so I kind of decided to take the desk out of my room and swap it out with the bookshelf that I had out in the main room. So now I have two bookshelves in my room and the desk is out in the main room. And I'm not totally sure how I feel about the look, like the setup that I have in here yet, but I think the desk looks really good out there, which I will show you tomorrow, I guess. But look at how cool. There's another bookshelf behind me. I'm not totally sure how I feel about them being that close together yet. I might have to move her over a little bit. But also, I brought this thing into here for like a new little nightstand area and I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. So now, like when you walk in, this is obviously still the same. It's like my bed area. Then when you turn to the left, we have the glorious bookshelves now. Again, they are a little bit closer together than I thought they would be, but you know, I don't know. I think it looks kind of cool. I put some lights on it. I put regular lights and I put these blue, like cool lights on it. So I think it kind of looks pretty dope. And I kind of like having like all of my books here in my room. Like it's kind of cool. Um, and then of course over here, sorry this lighting is absolute garbage, but it's it's my main posters that I had it before. I actually did add the Taylor Swift ones that I recently got. I just put those up today. And I don't know how I feel about this situation over here yet, but I put my second cart like over here with this one. I don't know if I'm going to end up keeping both in here or not, but I don't have any other ideas for now. <laughs> okay, for real though, with the other lights off, it's such a vibe in here. I love the blue lights. <laughs> They're so cool. 
and then I have my orange lights behind my bed over there so I dig this I like it a lot okay, so this is what the desk looks like out here isn't it so freaking cute I love that we're gonna have all this extra space and we are getting a new chair to go here that's gonna be like a nice white one that matches the desk but like oh I'm so excited and it's so spacious over here and in the summertime when we get all this natural light coming in right here oh it's gonna be so nice hello it's january 18th and it's my 26th birthday and today has been just okay so far i feel like it's kind of depressing to have a birthday during the pandemic which i'm sure you know everyone in the world has gone through at this point because it's nearly been a year but it's just you know not the same <laughs> I was thinking about last year and how amazing my 25th birthday was because I, I didn't even do anything crazy but I just went and saw little women in theaters for the first time and I got to go to like Olive Garden to celebrate with my family and then after everyone else got off of work that I work with we all went and got drinks at this bar after work and it was just such a fun chill day and I've never been the kind of person that like loves to do anything big on my birthday anyways but it's still just like so sad to just be kind of you know like dealing with this pandemic still and and i'm just still concerned about like my sister's health she has to get another ct scan here pretty soon because she's still experiencing some pain in that area and there's just a lot to be concerned about lately i guess i don't know i still feel like my um anxiety and my stress hasn't been that easy to manage lately and i feel like the whole you know turning 26 thing is just <laughs> adding to my stress in a way because it's like I don't know, 26 just sounds a lot older to me than 25 and 26 just sounds like the beginning of my second half of my 20s and I honestly just feel like I was robbed of being 25 years old because of the whole pandemic, you know? I just feel like I didn't really get to live my year of being 25 the way that I wanted to so it's just kind of like weighing on me like this feeling of like there's no turning back the clock I don't know and I'm sure everyone is feeling that way <sighs> but I spent the whole morning watching Taylor Swift's Reputation tour on Netflix because it honestly makes me feel so alive and Reputation is my favorite era at the moment still you know and um, just watching those live performances it's just, it's just everything you know like I went to the Reputation tour in 2018 and it was one of my favorite experiences ever so to be able to like relive that again through the movie is really fun and yeah I don't really have a whole lot planned for tonight I'm just gonna order I think some pizza from this really nice pizza restaurant in downtown and then take that up to my parents house and just kind of have a nice night at my parents house just having some dinner and but I've been getting so much birthday love all day on Instagram and I just wanted to say thank you to anybody that like reached out and said happy birthday to me because it does mean a lot and it definitely does make it feel more my birthday when I have so many people telling me happy birthday Gosh, dinner is lit. Got meat lovers pizza, Caesar salad, and cokes. This is this is one that didn't come for Christmas, so no, I feel it's like mine will be as good afterwards. <laughs> Yours is fabulous. What are you talking about? I don't know what this is. That's why I'm quite concerned that I, I go after this. I didn't. I didn't tell anybody this. It was late getting here, so. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> when it's big like that. It's... Oh my god, it's so cute. Dude, yes. Put that in your room, nothing but vibes. And then you can film, and that's behind you, babe. Love that. <laughs> Good job, Mom. So yeah, they're both, they're like a little magic set. I know, I thought for your videos they just look so cute on there. So cute. <laughs> dude! <laughs> oh, dude. Oh my god. Dude. These are my fucking lips. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, yes. The butterfly garden. There you go. And the stars in the black. Woohoo! <laughs> dude. Right? Aww. Dude, so cute. Woohoo! Oh my god, dude. I wear this like every day. I know. 
And it feels so, I mean, I love that fabric. It has Gabby written all over it. They are so nice. I love like. I just thought it'd be a cute shirt to wear with your. She loves the NASA. This is my third NASA shirt. Oh. I just thought it was cute. It does go so cute with that. Cute. It looks like it says New York 1995. Dude, yes. Yes. Isn't it cute? Yes. It looks like Evermore. Oh my god. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Like one big braid and call it. Right? Oh my god. I yeah, just, and then turn around. And then turn around, right? Oh. Hey, yo, I didn't know you were filming your Evermore video. I would have known. I would have given it to you. It's almost like a like a boyfriend flower. You know what I mean? Like a big, mm -hmm. you know, like, like it could be guys. Yeah, but like it's, yeah. Um, Amazing. It looks cute too with your boots. Ah. Oh my god. Happy birthday, <gasps> dear baby. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this? It's blue! Your favorite color. It's ice cream cake. What? Yeah. Cute! Make a wish. Look at these old childhood pigs. I feel like I look the same. These photos. Me and my grandpa. Rachel. <laughs> I like this one, me and Rachel. 2002. Freaking cute. Look at my dad's glasses. <laughs> that one is so cute. My dad's face. So cute. Oh my god. Me and Rachel thought we were like spy kids. We thought we were so cool. Look at Rachel's double hair ties in there. <laughs> Double ponytail. Look at Rachel. Oh my god. Such a meme. Like not only her face, but her fucking leg. <laughs> I really like this one of me and my mom. From the year 2000, I was five. <laughs> Hello there. It is still the night of my 26th birthday. And I've gotta say, I did end up having a really nice day today. This morning started off a little rough, not gonna lie. I just like, my mental health was just not in a good place this morning. And I mean, especially just like lately with everything that's been going on with, in my life with my family and my sister's health, it's just, I've been having a really hard time anyways mentally. And me turning 26 didn't really help with my mindset <laughs> because I know it's so dumb but like in my mind it's just putting a timer and like a pressure on all of the things that I thought maybe I still wanted to do while I was young you know and now I just feel like I'm running out of time and I feel like this pandemic has just stolen almost an entire year from me you know and I just I don't know I was having a lot of really intense feelings about it and <laughs> it just it wasn't a great morning for me but after I went over to my parents' house and we had dinner and we just like looked at old photos and they gave me some really sweet gifts. Like it just made the day so much better. Like my family always makes me feel better when I'm feeling just kind of like really anxious and stressed about my life. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to show you a couple of the gifts I got because they are really amazing. And my, my parents and my sister really nailed it with the gifts this year. Holy crap. This that I'm wearing right now is from my sister. It's like a Los Angeles cute West Coast shirt. And like, this is exactly the type of shirts I just absolutely love to wear. Like, it's just such a cozy little like sweater. And then I wanted to say thank you to my friend Katie for sending me the cutest little women shirt with the Joe March quote on it. I think one of my favorite gifts that I got today is from my sister. And it's this like huge oversized plaid shirt. Like, it's seriously so cute and so Evermore vibes. And then she did also get me these really nice sweatpants that have, like, a zipper on the sides, which I just, I love that. One of my favorite gifts that my parents got me is this cute little green, like, backpack purse thing. Like, this is totally something I would have purchased for myself at Target. Like, I love bags like this, and it's, like, perfect size to be able to, like, hold a book or something in there. Like, it's really cute. And I like that this strap, you can either make it into like a purse strap or you can put it through this loop here and turn it into like backpack actual strings. I am pretty excited too because I mentioned to my mom like one time that I wanted to start jumping rope again. Like I want to go down to the park when it starts to get a little bit warmer outside and just start jumping rope because I feel like that's a really good exercise. So she got me the cutest jump rope and it's really cool because it's weighted. So these are kind of like heavy. 
and I'm just so excited to use this and then she also got me this really cute pink yoga mat for my room because I've been wanting to get more into like stretching and yoga and like being better about taking care of my health this year and so I'm so excited to use this. I love this gift so much. My mom got me this like lap thing that you can like sit on your lap and it has this little light that I can do like this and it's like gonna be life changing for me because I was just saying how I don't have a lot of light over in my bed area and how it's kind of hard to read because there's no lights so that's why I have those little like clip on reading lights that I use but this is gonna be so nice and I can even like set my laptop on this and it's all cushiony and then it has this thing that slides out right here that's like a mouse pad and it even has a spot for your phone so you can like set your phone up on it and uh, whether I use this for just like reading, like I can set the book on this and just read on this, or I can set my laptop on this and actually like edit and just like have it sitting on my lap. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited about this because I always just have my laptop kind of like on me and then my mouse is like over here on the freaking couch or something, you know, like this is gonna be so freaking useful and I'm very, very excited about this. My sister got me the sweetest gift. She got me these, these are like little chains that are like, these cute little, I think they're like friendship, you know, chains, but she's gonna take one and I'm gonna take one. And like, how freaking soft is that? It's just like a cute little like pinkies being crossed on both of them. And so like, how freaking sweet is that? Good morning. It is January 20th. There's a lot to be grateful for today, you know, because Biden just got sworn into office and like literally just watching him and Kamala getting sworn in. It just like made my whole day like it was really beautiful and just to see a woman in that position of power getting sworn in it honestly made me a little misty eyed like it was really beautiful <sighs> however it's also kind of a sad morning still because my sister has to get another ct scan this morning she wasn't supposed to get it done until the 26th but they bumped it up because they recently had her do another urine analysis and her urine just isn't looking normal still and they and she's still having some like pain in her side like where the surgery was so i just feel like this has been like the longest most like never ending you know thing with my sister's recovery it's just really scary still and they're thinking like what's happened is that there's still a stone in one of her kidneys and that like in the surgery like when they removed the mass that had all the kidney stones in it they think maybe one of them like is still in there like, or there's still a stone in there. Like, they just don't know. So, they're, they're doing the CT scan today to see, like, what exactly is going on in there. And they were able to tell from her urine that there's no infection. So, it's not, like, super threatening. But it's still, like, if they missed a fucking kidney stone, like, that would suck so much. Because then she's probably gonna have to pass that on her own. I just don't want her to have to deal with all of this pain still. And it's just really sad and really frustrating. And I just want her to be okay. I have this view of the hospital from the parking lot and um like the emergency room is literally like right here to the right <laughs> and like honestly just seeing this hospital is triggering me so hard <laughs> like we were just here so much in december like it's too soon oh look at this little donut <laughs> he's wiped out <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. so recently me and my friend austin were talking about how amazing john mayer is and how we both share our love for so many of his songs and i think we both agree that this is our favorite john mayer song and it's called love on the weekend you be the dj i'll be the driver you put your feet up in the getaway car i'm flying fast like a a wanted man, I want you baby like you can't understand Oh, love on the weekend, love on the weekend We found a message in a bottle we were drinking Love on the weekend, love on the weekend I hate your guts cause I'm loving every minute of it gotta leave you it's gonna hurt me my clothes are dirty and my friends
friends are getting worried Down there below us, under the clouds Baby, take my hand and pull me down, down, down And I'll be dreaming of the next time we can go Into another serotonin overload Love on the weekend, love on the weekend I must it up cause I'm loving every minute of it So I just got done filming a video really quick right now. Last night, it was so great because my friend Katie, um, you might know her, she's a booktuber, Katie Coulson. She called me last night and we were talking on the phone for like an hour and she's just so sweet. Like she's like literally one of the sweetest people that I've ever met on the internet. Like she's so kind and she's so cool and like down to earth and we just have so much in common I feel like so I really loved getting the chance to like talk to her on the phone that was so cool. And then immediately after we got off the phone me and my sister watched this movie on Netflix called The Call and it's this Korean thriller movie that came out just last year in 2020 and I had been hearing about it on like Letterboxd and like some other sites like I don't even remember where I heard about it but people were saying oh my god this movie is crazy it's so trippy like everybody needs to watch it and so I finally was like okay let's watch it and oh my god it was so good <laughs> i haven't felt this shook and just like impressed by a movie since parasite i'm pretty sure like i don't know i was just blown away by like the unique creativity of this movie like the idea of it is really cool it involves one of my like favorite things in a movie which is kind of like not like alternate realities but like two timelines that are existing at the same time like i don't even know how to explain but it basically is following this girl who gets a phone call from the past and then it's about how this girl from the past is starting to like cause chaos in the future and it's just so interesting it kind of reminds me of like looper in a way but like oh my god this movie just takes things to the extreme and like i wasn't a huge fan of the post credit scene like i will say that i think it kind of like ruined some of it but immediately before the post credit scene i was like crying like i got so attached and it was just like it was such a good movie like i'm so surprised it was like an easy five out of five movie for me and it's just been so long since i've watched a movie that made me that excited about films <laughs> it's like lately i just feel like this last year there hasn't been too many like great movies you know because we really haven't had movies the same way in the last year so anytime i get to see a really good movie like this it just ignites this like passion in me for films again and i'm like i need to watch every movie ever made now and so i think tonight me and my sister are gonna watch another korean film that we've both been pretty interested in and i think it's called burning i'm getting recommended all these other korean films too that are like really good that are thrillers and i'm just like dude ugh. I'm all here for that. Like, I love these Korean films that I've been watching. I feel like they're so ahead of the game. Like, their storylines are so unique and so interesting and complex. And, like, I don't know. I, I'm just really enjoying it. So, I can't wait to watch more of that. Okay, major yum. Um, <laughs> We are trying a new pizza dough today because I went to Trader Joe's and they had pizza dough there. I usually get mine from Winco. But today we're trying the Trader Joe's. And I got it to get so thin. Mm. So it's like super thin crust. Mm. Baller. Big fan. Big fan. And so hopefully it's lit. And then we have Caesar too. Woohoo! <laughs> so recently my mom gave me like a new bed set with like sheets and stuff and it's this like plaid and it's so cool because this is like a plaid sheet and then this is like a plaid bed setting and i don't know why but this just makes it feel so much cozier in here than the white ones at least for now like i feel like i'm just gonna keep these for the rest of the winter and then maybe change back to white in the spring but i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of digging the plaid hello it is the end of the night on january 26th not a whole lot has been going on. Um, me and my sister did end up watching that movie Burning, or I think it might be called A Burning, but it's that Korean thriller kind of movie on Netflix, and that one was just okay for me. I feel like that movie had so much potential, and it was kind of a long movie. It was like two and a half hours. I don't know if it's marketed as a thriller, but I feel like for a movie that I went into expecting to be pretty thrilling, I feel like it was pretty slow and it really dragged a lot, but then the ending got like really good and really intense but I feel like it was a movie where I just wanted more 
out of the movie but either way i had a good time watching it and i don't know i'm just really into these korean thrillers so if you have any other recommendations of different korean thrillers that are really good let me know i got recommended this one recently called forgotten and so i think i'm gonna watch that one pretty soon as well anyways um tomorrow is my sister's 24th birthday and i'm kind of sad because she still hasn't been like feeling that well um we got the results back from the ct scan and they said it's still kind of difficult to see like what exactly is happening in her kidney first they thought maybe it was that they like let had missed a stone like during her surgery or something like that but now they're thinking it might be more something like either her kidneys trying to form more stones which you know that would suck and they keep telling her to just drink a bunch of water and try to like flush out whatever is going on in her kidney they think it could also be something like her bladder still pushing stuff back up into her kidney and so they don't really know like what is the main cause of her pain right now and it just really sucks because like today she had a really hard day and it sucks because it's her birthday tomorrow and I just want her to be able to like have a good birthday still and you know not just be thinking about this constantly but now it sucks because they're not gonna have her do another like doctor's visit until February 23rd and this time they're gonna have her do an ultrasound instead of a CT scan because I guess you can't get too many like CT scans back to back to back because the radiation is like really bad for you and it's like not safe so he said he doesn't want to do another CT scan he wants to just do an ultrasound instead in four weeks so it's not until February 23rd and it just sucks because I'm like, she might be in pain potentially for another four weeks. I don't know, everything about it just makes me nervous for her and sad for her and I just want her to feel okay again and I just hope she can at least have a decent birthday tomorrow with everything going on. But anyways, I do think I'm going to end these vlogs here. I think I'm just going to include all of her birthday fun in the next vlog if she does end up having an okay birthday tomorrow because these vlogs are starting to get pretty lengthy and I'd like for these to go up before the end of the week and if you are watching these vlogs on the day that these get uploaded then you will see me tomorrow because me and my sister will be doing the live show together for the book troop like if you didn't know I started a thriller book club and it's called the book troop and this month we read The Wife Upstairs by Rachel Hawkins and the live show for this book is going to be on my YouTube channel this Friday night the 29th and it's gonna be at 6 p.m. Pacific time and 9 p.m. Eastern time and I just think it's gonna be really fun like hopefully my sister is up for it we will see but yeah I'm really excited to discuss this book with you and hang out and do another live show thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video bye